you reinvent yourself, you are taking all the lessons you've learned and you are deciding to present them in another way. Okay? <laughs> Keep watching to find out all about reinvention and what book I'm talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denayo, and today we are talking all about reinventing yourself. All right? So today we are talking about the book, Such a Fun Age. This book was written by Kylie Reed. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is African-American literature, okay? So I had to read this book three times. The first time I read it, I did not like Elix. I, I did not. I was really upset. It was on a list of books I don't wanna read again. The second time I read the book, I listened to the audiobook. I was like, okay, everybody is saying this book is amazing. Let's give it one more chance. The third time I read the book, I fell in love with it. And so we're going to talk about what happened in those three different readings and why I decided that I did enjoy the book. Okay. So for one, you should not read a book just because everyone tells you to read a book. Okay. Listen to me talking about the book. If it sounds remotely exciting to you, consider picking it up. There's nothing wrong with you not enjoying a book, not reading a book, all of this stuff. Okay. For every New York Times bestseller, there's somebody that hates it. From the title, oh, such a fun age. You know, your kids are at such a fun age. They always say, oh, three, that's such a fun age. Okay, well, yeah, because there is a child in the book, right? Briar is a little kid. But I think the book is about reinvention. And so when Elix reinvents herself, she's at a fun age, right? She's in her mid to late 30s. She decides she's not going by Alex anymore. Now she is Elix. She creates this online company. She becomes this content magnet. She's hiring people. She does all this. She gets married. She has a child. She has reinvented herself, which I did not realize until you find out that Kelly used to date Elix. And then you're just like, those are completely different people, right? No, she reinvented herself. Wow. <laughs> okay. So then there's also reinvention when it comes to Amira. Okay. Amira has to reinvent herself because Amira settles for a long time. Now, don't get me wrong, Amira loves Briar, right? When we first meet Amira, she is babysitting Briar. Elix and her husband had an event, and so she's out with Briar, and that's when she ends up meeting Kelly accidentally, okay? But Amira is fine with just barely paying her bills, taking care of Briar, and that's literally the only bright spot in her day. And through the course of the book, you find out that Amira comes to terms with, do I really enjoy childcare? Would I want to become a full-time nanny? Could I get a degree in this? Does the enjoyment of childcare mean that I want to be a teacher or a counselor or anything like that, right? So you get to see Amira come to terms with, this is something that I enjoy and I'm not ashamed of the fact that I like hanging out with this kid. Briar is a super cool kid and Amira wants to hang out with her. But she has to get over the fact that, oh yeah, I'm just a babysitter. And if I can just say, if I could be a fly on the wall for that Thanksgiving dinner, when Alex opens the door, she's like, I invited my babysitter over. Oh, look at me doing good for the world. And then she opens the door and she's dating her high school boyfriend. Spoiler alert. What? So good. <laughs> so good. But let me tell you, Alex is, is such a stupid name. It's so stupid. And I think that's why when I'm reading it, the first time I was reading it as Alex. And so then when she turned into Alex, I was like, I... I don't get it. And then when I listened to the audiobook and I was like, she's pronouncing it Elix. So then in my head, I'm like, Elix, 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 Alex. Then I was able to see, okay, those are different people, right? And it wasn't until the third time when I read it when I was like, okay, there's gotta be something here, right? To the point where I've even added Kylie Reed's other books to my list so that I can read them because she's a really good author. It just was that the story took a long time for me to be like, what is happening here? It's a mirror story along with Elix's story and kind of Briar's story too, because you see a lot of change with Briar. Eventually Amira finds her feet. She becomes big and strong and she can stand up for herself once she decides what she wants to do, okay? Once that reinvention, she's like, this is who I am. I'm not just settling for just any old job. This is really what I wanna do. And then she's able to move forward, okay? So I would absolutely reread Such a Fun Age again because everybody was at such a fun age because they were having fun and doing all the stuff, <laughs> all right? And if you enjoyed this book review, watch this review here called When We Were Sisters. Great book, great book, all right? See you in the next review.